you guys what's up and today's short video is going to be about the new update maybe that's coming to cookie run kingdom is basically some leaks that they posted over on a chinese website webio uh, on their official page and basically it's talking about what's coming out in future updates changes they're making and stuff like that so i want to hop into it now and why i think that some of these changes could actually just destroy the game i'm not even like over exaggerating on this i think this could literally just kill the player base and kill the game if they make some of these changes or how they look anyways from the google translate that is maybe you guys can translate and better than I can. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and hop into it now and talk about what I found. All right, guys, so one of the first things I found is uh, this, like, editor right here. Basically, from what it looks like and from what I translated, it looks like it's going to allow the community to make, like, certain plots of land that you can go and put down if you have all the resources for it. You can put down, like, that plot of land that someone has made. It's basically like a decoration set. You kind of see this in other games, like, where you have decoration sets. It kind of applies to this as well. Uh, so, so the community will make a decoration set, they'll post it, publish it, and then you'll be able to actually use it if you have all the correct materials for it. Also, I know this is really pixelated, but I just want to point out this. This is a new UI that's coming to the game, and I don't like it. I, I don't think that having all of this extra stuff on the screen is going to help, especially for mobile players. Good luck trying to navigate or click on a building without clicking on the UI. Literally 75% of the screen is covered by UI. Now let's hop into the things that I think could absolutely destroy the game, starting off with the gotcha optimization. Now in this gotcha, now, now, now this reads, the extraction of biscuits, which are the cookies, is graded in the game, but at the same time it also makes surface of breaking the news more complicated, and also increase the cumbersome level of operation. In order to ensure players game experience, we will integrate the extracted content, which will not only reduce the cumbersome, but also improve the surprise of the game extraction. Fusion content will be included in the biscuit characters, biscuit pieces, clothing, decorations, materials, gold coins, and other different content is going to be added into the gotcha. Now, now as you guys can see on the image down here this is abysmal i hate this why are they why are they adding more stuff to the gotcha pool this is going to make pulling the featured characters even worse if they add this and you guys might be like why you two why is it going to make it worse because the more you increase the pool the less of chance you have of actually pulling that character the reason now you can't pull the featured unit is because they have so many cookies in the gotcha pool they have every single cookie in the game in the gotcha pool meaning the chance for pulling each cookie is lower and lower and lower meaning you have a higher chance and a higher probability of pulling the cookie that's not the featured cookie so if you've been wondering if they've re reduced the rates in the pools no they haven't they've just added so many cookies to the pool now that when you pull for characters it's going to give you those characters more likely than the actual featured unit itself and with adding something like this into the game where you can get decorations materials gold coins and other stuff honestly like what the fuck are they thinking of this if this is actually what this means this is going to play a big part in killing the game this, like, this is this making the game more pay to win. So this means now free to play players are gonna have even less of a chance of pulling the featured cookies. And so it's just gonna become super pay to win heavy. To me, it looks like they're packing their bags, they're gearing up for something else down the road, and they don't care about this game anymore. By the way, guys, sorry if you heard that audio in the background. I had cops who were playing in the background when I was watching a stream. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's continue with it. This one right here is also pretty bad if it actually means what it says in the translation. Judging from this picture here, they're gonna be reducing the rewards you actually can get from guild and stuff like that and what this reads is in the past the rewards from the guild are shown in the picture above but only a part of the reward content 10 to 50 percent will be retained in the national version other rewards marked with an x will be allocated to other activities for this adjustment i hope everyone can still get rewards while participating in other gameplays and do not require everyone to concentrate on experiencing very specific gameplays basically what this says right here so instead of getting 4,000 gems per week you're getting 400 gems per per week on guild this just makes guild irrelevant you're getting a single pool per week for guild you are out of your mind if you think anyone's gonna play guild anymore or build guild teams anymore for that amount of gems you're crazy this is gonna destroy the free-to-play economy the only way to really get gems after this will maybe be arena if they don't reduce those rewards either judging from this they're just going the full pay to win around they're they're just trying to get their bag and leave and i really don't think they care about this game anymore but now after talking about this stuff uh let's talk about a little channel update if they make this change where you get reduced rewards and they increase the gotcha pool i will not play cookie run anymore i'm sorry about that i, I won't post any more content on it 
it, it just is what it is. Like, you know, I love the game. I love the community around it. But what the devs are doing to the game is, it, it doesn't seem right to me. And it doesn't seem like they're going in the right direction. It doesn't seem like they want to improve the community. They just seem like they're just trying to get their bag and leave. They're putting in zero effort to the game, it looks like. Uh, I mean, look at the Triple Cone Cup. The Triple Cone Cup has been horrendous. I mean, I haven't played the game in three weeks. Like, I have just been playing Honkai Star Rail for the past three weeks. And that's why you see my daily uploads of Honkai Star Rail. Because there's stuff to do in Honkai Star Rail. Whereas, there is literally nothing to do in this game. But I do have CRK videos coming out and posting. So if you guys want to see the CRK videos, they will be posting. I have them posted every two days, every three days. It just depends on when I can get content out for them. Just because there's nothing to do in the game. And I really don't want to go rehash and reuse content and make a guide that's been made 300 times before. Uh, it's just, I, I'm not trying to farm views like that. Anyways, guys, that's really going to do it for today's short little video on my little rant about what we saw here today. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope everyone enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one later. Bye-bye.